Hi, it's Vicki with Condi Systems Technical Support, and I'm in Corel Draw. And in this video, I want to demonstrate to our Condi clients how to use a um, color chart in Corel Draw, how to how to determine what the color is, um, some of the benefits to using the color charts, uh, how to locate the values in the color chart. Um, also, know that our color charts are also located on PartnerNet. PartnerNet is, uh, is a, an account that is given to you once you affiliate with Condi. Your account manager can walk you through how to sign up for PartnerNet. I highly encourage all of our clients to sign up for PartnerNet. On PartnerNet you will find tools including color charts of uh, RGB, CMYK, and many others that's going to help you um, with what I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, color charts are often and mostly used for matching color, spot color, for converting color. Uh, when you're trying to get a specific green or a specific red, uh, sometimes we have to go beyond just actually printing and hoping that the color turns out correctly. We sometimes need to determine what that color is after sublimation and then go in and choose color. Um, we have other videos that David Gross does on uh, color charts. I encourage you to go to ConditV.com and look for um, uh, links that will take you to videos on how to use color palettes, some demonstrations up close and personal with David um, with using uh, true match color palettes and uh, his ideas that will also benefit you in, uh, in along with this video. Now in this video we're in Corel Draw X6 but what we're going to do what I'm going to do is first open up a color chart and then I'm going to show you the tools and how to uh, determine what color uh, how to pick color and how to determine what the values of those colors are and also opening up your color wheel and uh, things like that maybe a few tips along the way. Uh, first of all I highly encourage you to go to PartnerNet and download uh, the color charts, specifically the RGB color charts, um, and also look for videos on how to create color charts in Corel Draw. So let's get started with this video, okay? Uh, first of all, I've already downloaded my color charts that I'm going to use for this demonstration. Uh, I like to use the RGB color palette for Corel, and I also like to use the Pantone color palette where you can call and request that. I'm not sure that one's on PartnerNet, but it's an awesome color palette and uh, you can send us an email requesting the Pantone color chart. It's, um, it's one um, that I think is, is, is really good for, has a lot of color in it, m many more colors than the RG palette that you would be able to create or download for Corel. But for this demonstration, um, we can use those color palettes. I'm going to use a True Match color palette. This is a JPEG. And you can use this JPEG in Photoshop or Corel. So, as we all know, in Corel Draw, once we've downloaded our file and we know where it's at, we're ready to open it. So we go up here to File, and then we scroll down to Import, because you have to click Import with Corel and this goes straight to my color charts and I'm going to go ahead and just select one here okay and we'll choose this one so I'm going to left click on it and I'm going to import it now I'm ready to place it up here in this left corner left click and bam there it is alright let's get this thing on page uh, let's do to fit now we can see everything I'm probably going to zoom in in a second get a closer look um, but this is just a sample of a lot of different shades of reds uh, yellows greens and some turquoise blues things like that and um, with these samples I uh, you have some values here but in Corel again this is a, a JPEG image and with Corel, the great advantage of Corel, if we want to know what one of these colors are, whether it be RGB or CMYK or whatever we want it to be, um, right now we're set up for RGB and that's the color that we recommend with our profiles. Um, 
but to determine what a value is on this uh, chart if I have a particular color I want to look at using my wheel on my mouse I'm just gonna zoom in so we can get a closer view uh, and again this palette is used uh, frequently in Photoshop as well so we're gonna find an RGB value of uh, let's just choose a color here let's just start start with the top left number three and over here is our tools in Corel and to find a value of a color we need our eyedropper it's hard to see but right here is the eyedropper and I'm just gonna click on it if I hold my mouse over it I can make sure it says color eyedropper okay so we're going to select that. Now we have, you can see this little eyedropper looking thing that uh, as I scroll across the page I can see the RGB values changing on every um, everything I hover over. Okay, so we are in an RGB mode and we also see the number of the color at the bottom there. That's a number in relation to that RGB value. And some people use numbers and some people we'll use the um, RGB which is red green and blue okay I get asked often about RGB versus CMYK because of the four color printer and um, it's a good question but RGB is in our opinion um, one of the better selections and we also create our color profiles using RGB so that means what that means to you is that your calibration of color is going to be closer when using the ICC profile with RGB um, with the RGB color mode setting okay so let's go up here to the top left as a number three and to determine that value of that color as I hover over it you can see that the red value is 239 the green is 73 and the blue is 97 so at the bottom of that is the number of that color. If I wanted to select that color uh, and place it down here, okay, if I wanted to select it so that I can see or use that value, I just click on it and now I can see it down here in the bottom right, okay? You see how that happened? Um, now if I want to open up my color wheel, or should I say my color palette, uh, dialog box. Now with some versions of Corel keep in mind you might see this up at the top right um, not at the bottom right so don't be discouraged if you don't see the color at the bottom right depending on your version of Corel um, you will see this palette usually at the top right or bottom right okay also uh, you'll see an RGB color palette selected from your window uh, color palettes and if I deselect this uh, it closes out see so that's how you select a color palette let's just put it back there alright so now we have this color here at the bottom you see that paint bucket there that that means fill fill is anything that's within the stroke or the outline right up under that is the outline and as you can see it has an X through it which means there's no outline uh, that's a pin meaning like a stroke okay but I'm gonna double click on this fill where that color block is and that's gonna open up my uniform fill box here okay um, now here what I see under palettes is I see um, a value of the of some of the RGB colors. I'm going to go over here to mixers and our models and okay we go to mixers I'm sorry something caught up had to reopen it. I'm going to go to mixers and here is where I can see say for instance if I wanted this uh, if I wanted to know the value of a CMYK 
versus the RGB I can just click it here under mixer okay and it also tells me the name of the color which is a tropical pink um, this is a size you know just size the palette down here okay doesn't matter now if I wanted to convert or swap that color I could swap it here which I'm not going to click on but that's one way of doing it I can also add it to a color palette um, I can also drop down and see my uh, CM, my model change my model to a CMYK and I can see the CMYK values here as well okay so that's the uh, benefit and the advantage of your using your color palettes determining color switching color those kind of things um, models this is just one big color fade here where you can kind of just move this block around and uh, by holding your left mouse click you can change the value of that color okay also you have your drop down as you do with the mixer and you can choose CMYK versus an RGB so on and so forth okay so I'm just going to cancel out of this alright so using your eyedropper of course again you can determine the value of these colors just by placing your eyedropper or hovering over that color so that you can see what those colors are and manipulate them by going to your color palette here and clicking on the different tabs within there and making changes accordingly so if you have any questions on how to use color palettes or determining color in Corel Draw I certainly hope this video has uh, shown you a demonstration of determining color value and also uh, how to use your dialog box to manipulate those colors within Corel Draw and to do this in X6 uh, would be the same uh, with some earlier versions of Corel Draw would be the same exact demonstration or should I say instruction if you have any questions that uh, you feel like that you want to ask about this video feel free to give us a call here at Condi and again look for other videos on CondiTV.com that refer to color matching or color palettes we certainly have a lot of information out there and this is probably one of the highlights of uh, sublimation issues that I can think of that would be helpful for your um, sublimation questions or color matching. Again, my name is Vicki. I'm with Condi. Thank you.